Well, at Scott Bennett, we make anything really that can be made out of metal, uh, brass, steel, aluminium, uh, some plastics. We are just a general subcontract machining, turning and milling shop. Automation for us is very important, yeah. It's nice to leave machines running, especially in the evening. One of the components that I particularly make on this machine is a, is a locking ring. It's used to adjust the ride height of the, the, the shock absorber, simple as that. And there's two of these that go onto every single shock absorber. This component is made on this machine. We were having issues with, with this particular product when we were making it. We were, we were losing a lot of components to scrap. And the reason being was, when it came to pick up into the subspindle, even, even with a collet blowout of, of suds and air, there were still parts of swarf getting into the collet and we couldn't find a way to stop it. It was damaging the component on pickup. And if, say, we were making 2,000 parts, probably 10%, 200 parts of that were going straight into the bin. Obviously, that's costing us time, money, and material. Since we brought this machine, we've had, um, we've had the Heimbach colic chuck on there, which has been perfect all this time. Uh, and obviously, this product was causing us issues. So inevitably, we had to speak to Heimbach to see if they could solve the problem of picking this component up and uh, us making no scrap, simple as that. So we contacted Heimbach, we spoke to Jacob, and they said, yeah, that won't be an issue. We'll come up with an idea. We, we gave them a challenge to to turn our scrap down to more or less zero and, 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 and keep the machine running perfectly well. Gl uh, gladly for us, Heimbuck jumped straight onto it um, through contact through, with Jacob. Uh, they came in, we explained the part to them uh, and they more or less said straight away, there's something we can do for you. We can do this, we can do that. Uh, drawings were sent across um, very quickly to be fair. Um, and, uh, and uh, we, we looked at the part and we, we knew it was going to work, and so we, uh, we placed an order. So when Scott Bennett came to us with this part, we considered a few different things. We were looking at maybe holding on a, a formed collet, maybe holding on a formed mandrel, but we decided that a standard mandrel with a special spring-loaded ejection end stop is more than good enough. The only actual special we did was the ejection. The mandrel that goes into the collet chuck is completely standard. Specials are important to Heimbuck because we have such a huge range of customers requiring all different things for all different kinds of parts. And this part might not look complicated, but the application running thousands off reliably is quite complicated. Um, and that's why standard products from the catalogue can't do everything. So that's why you need a special to perfect your process. So when Scott Bennett came to us with this part, we considered a few different things. We were looking at maybe holding on a, a formed collet, maybe holding on a formed mandrel, but we decided that a standard mandrel with a special spring-loaded ejection end stop is more than good enough. The only actual special we did was the ejection. The mandrel that goes into the collet chuck is completely standard. We chose to go quick change because Scott Bennett's problems lay in long setup times and wasting time in their machining process. So we thought, if we can make it quick change, why don't we? So high volume and quick changeover is exactly where specials lay. That's exactly where specials come into production and allow you to make the most efficient processes and those perfect processes. Again, after speaking to Jacob, yeah, uh, Jacob said six to eight weeks, six to eight weeks appro approximately lead time. We said, yes, no problem. So we, we had to put up with uh, making a bit more scrap until Heimbuck could solve that problem. Um, they came in, Jacob came in, um, showed me how to fit it to the machine. Uh, was here for two, three, four hours. Um, we, got the part, we got the part working perfectly well. Uh, and since then it's uh, not stopped. 